everyone, so for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury Beach Stick, and I'm really excited about today's video. This is actually day four, I believe, of one week of cream blushes, so if you're new to my channel, that's when I do a new cream blush review every single day for an entire week, so we're getting there. We're almost halfway, or I guess about halfway through, and I'm really excited about today's video because I've been wanting to try the Beach Sticks from Charlotte Tilbury for a while now. I actually first heard heard about them from a journalist by the name of Rio and The Strategist and she said that she really adores this product and I really I follow all of her articles and I really like everything that she tends to recommend so so in today's video we're going to be doing a review as well as a demo so you guys can see how this applies to my cheeks and then we'll get into the wear time the texture and everything like that so I really hope that you guys enjoy today's video and definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do of course and and I will leave my one week of cream blush playlist linked down below. So definitely make sure to check that out and catch up on any videos that you missed. So the Charlotte Tilbury Lip to Cheek Beach Sticks retail for $45. You get 0.23 ounces of product in here for $45. So this is one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive blush that I am going to be reviewing in one week of cream blushes. This is definitely up there in price. I personally have the shade from Intera. This is a very 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 pretty sun-kissed sort of shade that's it blended out but, but it almost has that look of naturally suntan cheeks i've been talking a lot about that look on my channel because that's pretty much the look i wear every day in the summertime and if you are looking for a shade to kind of mimic that, at least on my skin tone, this is the shade that I tend to turn. This review is going to be about this shade in particular because when I was looking through reviews on the Sephora website, apparently there are other shades with quite large chunks of glitter in them, which I do feel like has affected the reviews that are going through. Um, I'm just reviewing this shade in particular. I can't speak to the other shades. I haven't seen those. So these are meant to be used on the cheeks or on the lips. They're a multi-use product. Today I'm just going to be reviewing them as a cheek product. So this comes in a stick form, as I mentioned before, and I think the packaging is very pretty. I like the gold. I like the shades of gold that Charlotte Tilbury tends to pick and in general I think it's really pretty. It does feel a little bit cheap. This is definitely cheap packaging. Um, for $45 it, it hurts a little bit. Um, I will say that and that's something that I'm very very honest about with more luxury products. I'm totally fine if the money is reinvested back into the formula though I am expecting just a little bit more luxury. I want the product to feel just a little bit more luxe. So let's talk about the texture. Like I mentioned before, this is in a stick form, but the texture is pretty surprising for being in a stick. I think sometimes sticks can be a little bit on the waxier side. They can be a little bit more bulky um, and a little more stiff, but this is very, very soft. It really glides over the skin. It does have more of a matte finish. They actually market it this is being a more dewy finish. I have it on my cheeks today and I, I don't find it to be too too dewy. Um, I feel like this is a little bit more on like the satin matte side, at least on my dry skin. The texture is really, really pretty. It has that glide that's really nice, but it's matte and it's very lightweight. So I think this is definitely geared towards those of you with more oily skin, but I have dry skin and this does not exaggerate any texture I have. So that is one thing to keep in mind. I don't think this is necessarily only good for oily skin, but I'm always looking out for those of you with oily skin because I know it can be difficult to find cream products that will last long on you and ones that will not exaggerate in large pores. And I don't think that this would on your skin. Another thing to keep in mind with the actual formula of this is that it's actually not incredibly pigmented. I think that this is more on the light to sheer side pigmentation wise, which I was actually a little bit surprised by. Um, and it's not a bad thing whatsoever. It's definitely buildable, but you're not going to get a ton of color payoff with this. So let's get into the demo so you can see how it applies to my skin. I tend to just use my fingers from the stick and then pat it into my skin. And as you can see, it really blends well. It likes to sink into the skin. It's not sitting on top of the skin whatsoever, but it has a really pretty satin matte finish. So it really gives the appearance of truly sun-kissed skin. I think sometimes it is hard with dewier makeup to really truly look like 
no makeup makeup. This really blends into the skin and wants to work with your skin. So I definitely like the way that it applies. I think it looks a little bit smoothing on the skin, which I find interesting. And again, more on the sheer side, I do really appreciate the way that it looks on my skin when I wear it. Looks incredibly natural. As for the wear time, because this has less pigment, I don't think it's ultra long wearing, but because of the formula, I do feel like it will last a little bit longer. That seems like counterintuitive, but I really feel like I see the texture that it is left behind on my skin in a good way. I feel like it smooths my skin and I notice that smoothing effect um, throughout the day. So I think that that smoothing effect definitely lasts about eight hours, but the color might start fading around six. That's something I really haven't experienced with too many products. So it is definitely interesting. This almost feels like the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. It reminds me of a slightly more creamy version of that. Like I mentioned before, I have the shade Fermentera. I could not be more happy with this shade. In general, I think the formula is really nice. So as a whole, I really, really like the product. And the only thing holding me back from recommending it is the price tag. For 0.23 ounces, I believe, of product for $45. So I really, really like this. That's the only thing keeping me from recommending it. If you personally, if money is not something that you're worried about, if you're splurging on yourself, um, I would say definitely go for it. I really, really enjoy the product. That's just kind of my two cents on that. And if you guys have any other questions about this, just leave them down below and I'm really happy to help you guys out. And I hope you will stay tuned for tomorrow's video for one week of cream blushes and make sure to subscribe so that you can watch it. And I hope again that you'll give today's video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will hopefully see you in my next one.